Hello and welcome to The Fix and today we're going to have a look at this Mercedes C200 compressor which has got few faults come up on it. If we start up the car, nothing in the instrument panel is working like the rev counter, the petrol gauge or anything, got no indicators, uh, no wipers, the wipers are not working, the heater's not working and we've got all these faults on the car and that's all related to uh, what you call a SAM unit. On Mercedes have a SAM unit signal acquisition module that receive, uh, receives all the data from the car. It's like a network system. It retrieves all the data from the car from all the switches, the sensors and everything and then it, it actually controls a lot of the modules. So that's how this is work. So we're going to have to have a look at the SAM module. Usually they're quite reliable, but sometimes they get water ingress. Yeah, before we take out the SAM unit, I've got to disconnect the battery. And also I forgot to mention that the electric windows are not working either. So you just unclip this. This is the cabin filter, the pollen filter. This goes over here. You can see the pollen filters in there. And if I just disconnect the negative well, of the battery, before you do most electrical work on the car, dismantling the electrical stuff or anything like that, it's better to disconnect the battery. The SAM module is under here. It's the actual fuse box. It's got the combined fuse box in it. So if we just take off the fuse cover and put that over there and as you can see it's got a few plugs on top what my advice is always take a photo of this so you know where all the plugs go back so if I undo a few of these plugs it's got the tabs in there sometimes they're a bit difficult to get in so how I usually do them is see the tab in there we just push it forward Use a screwdriver on the other end. Let's see. And they don't come out, push them down and then push the tags across. And that's it, that's one out. These ones got a little tab in the front there so if I just push that tab that pulls out and this one it's got a tab right there that pulls out and we've got one over there two tabs just put the tab in there and push this tab out at the other tab The other tab, it's hard to get in there, that's it, that's out now. Now I think what we're going to have to do is undo these torques here. One, two and three. So I'll just undo them. Okay, I'm going to undo these torques. One over here. Over here, there's one over here, one over here, but I can't really get to that with this torque. So I've got my little, I've got my little torque thing in here, which is a handheld thing. But you could use a little ratchet with the this uh, torx bit on it and undo it that way but I'll just undo it like that
that's out okay now I want to pull this fuse rock SAM unit out but as you can see it's quite long like a module down there so it won't come out unless we get this out so if I get the long nose pliers put that in there like that and slot that out of there and then the wiper we could bend it up so it's out of the way and push this back and then we could pull out the module from there moving this across and everything it's still quite tight So what I've got to do bend that behind there and lift it out like that plug that and here we are got it out now and on the other side there's loads of plugs in here so remember always take a photo of the whole unit so you know where all the plugs go back if there's any problems usually they they're designated to certain you know plug sockets but if they're not then you'll be on the safe side because you know where they go if you take a photo of it so i'm going to unclip all these now See, these are a bit a bit fiddly to get to because it's so short the clip get into there on. I could just get to these from out there This one will come out and then that one down and that's out and I think that's all of them so there we have our SAM unit now we're going to open this up and see if there's anything wrong with it obviously or you know if there's any water ingress now we're going to open up this SAM unit to see if there's got any water ingress or something inside it so if I just unclip these clips just pry it away a bit so the clips don't lock back in and hold it back there and then there yeah. and on this side right now we've got the cover off put it down like that okay now I could see in here it has got some water I think it must have got condensation or damp in it as you can see over here it's got all this green corrosion that's where the water has got in the actual box that this was in in the car didn't have any water in it so this must be condensation or damp it's got in here and it's all over here all over there and on on there as well if you could see it over there so what we're going to try and do we're going to try and clean this up with isopropanol alcohol and see if we could just clean it up and get the car working again right I'm gonna pour some isopropanol alcohol in that bowl just a little bit we don't need a lot that'll do and I'm gonna get one of my brushes here and apply it to where the corrosive Lots a bit here. Right then, I think we need something a little bit more stiffer. I think 
got all of that off. Let me have a check of it. Yeah, that seems to be pretty clean now. Apart from, I can see a bit there. I think that's all right now. Hopefully, if it hasn't done any damage, hasn't um, short-circuited any of the components, we might be able to get the car running how it should with the wipers and everything working again and the instrument cluster. Now that we've cleaned it all up, I'm just going to click this panel back in and try it out in the car. If it hasn't done any damage, then the car, all the stuff that's not working on it should be working. But if it has done damage to the components then we'll have to replace this SAM unit. Well it's clipped back in, ready to go back into the car to test it. Time to reinstall the SAM unit back into So we've got to plug all these uh, plugs back in. So let's start off with I think yeah, that one goes in there. They should really go into the allocated places. Some uh, other plug shouldn't go into other places, but it's also got markings like that's got a white there. And this has got two pins. No, this one goes with the center. This one might not even go there, so nothing. Put this one in. Yep, the one goes there. I think if I remember, I'll take that one off again, and now I've got to do this. Yes, put this one in first. goes this way around yep and then you just slide that so it slots into place then we're going to put on this one and this one goes this way around as well it goes in like that slots in if we would have done it the other way around, put these other plugs in, then this tab would have got stuck and it wouldn't have come out, so... Okay. Now this one goes in there. Now we're going to have to put the box back in, so it's going to be a bit tricky getting this in. So if I put it in that way, I've got to put it in that way and then move that wiper arm over here. So then I could turn this round like that. And it's nearly back into place. Okay. 
Okay, now let me just make sure this plug has to be put through this side. Let me plug all these in now. Plug that one in there. Uh, this one is plugged back into there. And then we've got No, I think, yep, this one plugs into here, and I think we've got another one, which is this one, plugs into there. Now, we could just put the wires out of the way, put this into position there. That goes in there. Now it's ready to put the torque screws back in. Now, if I put this torque screw back in there, Now our SAM unit has been fitted back in, so let's go and connect the battery up and test it. It's going to plug the battery cable back in. Battery terminal back on. these covers on in a little while let's just test it first got to connect this wiper arm back on so if we just put it there and um, if I just pinch that down that's it that's clipped in so the wipers back in now and let's try and start it up and see if it's working okay let's start up the car now All right, straight away you could see the rev counters started started working. Um, what else? Yes, the petrol gauge light has come on, so that's working. And let me try the indicators. No, still no indicator, so it hasn't repaired that. So that means there is some component damage on that SAM unit. Let me try the wipers. Oh, the wipers are coming on, so that means the wipers are working now. Uh, let me try the heater. Yep, the heater's working as well. And let's try the electric windows. Nope, no electric windows. Okay, we managed to repair some of the faults by cleaning the circuit board, but obviously it's done damage to some of the circuitry. That's why we haven't got the indicators working, the electric windows, but what we have got working is the heater, the wiper, and you know, the instrument cluster, that's all working now. So we're going to have to replace the SAM unit with another unit. Either we're going to put a pre-owned unit on it if we can, or a new one. So if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon so you could get all my future videos. Thank you.